What's going on guys, Malik here, and I'm back doing another update with the Mega Upload thing, and I have my friend JP here. Introduce yourself. Hey, what's going on guys? Yeah, JP. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so this is actually, um, really important. I think a lot of people should know about it. Um, I've made two previous videos about the Mega Upload and the whole Sopa deal, but basically what's happening with Mega Upload is if you've ever downloaded or uploaded anything that has a co that's copyright infringed or technical or illegal in any sort of way you will most likely be tracked down and fined now me and JP were just gonna share our thoughts on this and just basically ran about it so uh, go ahead JP you go first well I mean here, here's my thing on it I mean is 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 what the government is doing what the what SOPA is doing I'm gonna kind of you know come into this for those people that are listening I'm gonna come into it at more of the the, um, the devil's advocate if you will I mean I'm gonna come into it at, at, with that type of uh, perspective I mean here's the thing the government is 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 censoring or at least they were attempting to censor pretty much everything so why is it now that once this big corporation if you want to call it a corporation mega upload why is it now that they think that they need to do exactly what the government is doing by going after these big people going after even these smaller people let's say it's your grandmother they're watching some antiques road show or whatever it may be because she happened to miss it she doesn't have the the uh, the personal video recorder and she's gonna watch it on this show as opposed to you know, yeah, watching exactly. it on. I mean, I think it's complete and utter BS, if you ask me. I think it's completely stupid. I think that, I mean, yeah, sure, if you're going to go after people, go after people that are clearly pirating software, clearly pirating movies that you actually have to pay for. I mean, that's why there's the $7, $12, $15 show fee, so you can sit down, watch a movie with the company or with your friends. But, I mean, sitting down, watching. Um, some type of TV show, or if we even go to the, the, the perspective of this, I mean, people would not be pirating in the first place if stuff wasn't costing so damn much. Exactly. Okay? And, like, another thing is, there's a college student in, I believe, the UK who has been charged $150,000 for downloading, I think, four episodes of a, of a TV show. I mean, I don't think the person should be... The person who downloaded should get blamed. I think the person who originally uploaded should be the one who's getting fined. I agree with you. I think, so are you suggesting that it should be, should be mega upload and maybe some of these other sites that I'm not going to mention because I don't know if they're in hot water or not, but I'm, I mean, obviously we're talking about mega upload. So you think that if I was to upload something to mega upload and it's clearly pirated, let's say it's the Saints Row the Third, because I know in your last video, which by the way, I want to congratulate on, it got like close to 10,000 views in a short amount of time. For people that haven't seen that video yet, they should go and see that because this video that we're talking about now doesn't make any sense unless you watch that one. I'll leave it as um, a video in response, everybody. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, I, I think that it, it's, it's stupid. I think that um, if, if I'm uploading, like I said, if I'm uploading to Mega Upload, then I think they should be the one that says, you know what? No, it's automatically copyrighted. Like I mean, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, exactly. YouTube if you upload anything that's copyrighted and infringed, YouTube immediately is like, hey, you got to take this down or remove whatever was infringed. Yeah, they, they give you or something. a third party, uh, what is it, a third party claim or something or, like that. Yeah, a third party claim or a content ID match. Right, exactly. And I think that should be it. Because then what's going to happen at that point in time is, I think that. Um, it's gonna other. It's gonna do one of a couple different things. It's gonna warn me as a user, saying, "Listen, this is potentially jumping into hot water. Maybe you should either think about taking it down, or you know what they could even do. What YouTube's doing is, if it does a third-party verification match, then that person that owns that content should be earning revenue off of it. And so that's the real principle behind the entire thing. I think, I think that's why SOPA even exists. Yeah, people it's for people bitching. earning revenue from other people's exactly. things. But you're not earning people any revenue from a mega upload. Exactly. People are bitching and complaining because they're not making those five cents or those those two pennies off of people downloading stuff. And I exactly. think that, that, that that's exactly what Mega Upload needs to do. They need to do something along the lines where they're doing that third-party verification thing and that if I upload something, let's call it Saints Row the Third because, it, I mean, you talked about that in your last video, that if somebody's uploading that, clearly it's pirated. Clearly, right. if, I don't, if in I, the title it says Saints Row the Third, Skid Row, correct. Obviously, it's pirated, and immediately at that point, it should have been like taken it down, removed, gone. Yeah, exactly. 
Because then they want to give people the opportunity to download it, to share it, and do whatever with. Right. So does that mean? That, I mean, does that mean that the the site's not going to be as powerful? Maybe that's the case. Maybe it's it shouldn't be for for crack stuff. I mean, I'm pretty positive that Mega Upload didn't specifically build the site saying, you know what, we want everybody to bring us pirated content exactly. so that we can make yeah. money off of our ads. Like, yeah, Obviously, it's a lot of work, but filtering what gets uploaded is important. That's why YouTube does it. YouTube's like, okay, I don't, we don't want to, we don't want to be in deep water here because we got uploaded. Somebody uploaded a, a Kanye West song, and now we're in a lot of we're we're in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. I mean, like. I you I should agree just be able to filter and put people on the teams to watch what gets uploaded. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff a day, but it's it's still just a fact of the matter. I agree. Okay, so let's go on to let's talk about a little bit more of the figures here. I mean, you were you were saying at the be beginning of this video that I mean, people are getting fined. Even oh, people yeah. not even in the United States. So people, people not even in the United States are getting right. fined over one hundred fifty thousand dollars. There was a woman, a single mom. A, f a few years ago, when Meg uploaded and downloading, she downloaded 24 songs. She owes the government now 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars. How does That's anyone in the government expect any average single mom to pay 1.5 million dollars to anyone? I don't have that money, and I'm not a single mom. I mean, <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm, I I want to I want to consider myself a a business person, but if I'm uploading something as small as you know, posting a new Family Guy video or posting, a, it's not even, it's not even new content. It's something that somebody hasn't watched or they might have missed out on because they don't have, I go back to the uh, personal video recorder, the PVR. Exactly. I mean, I'm uploading that because I'm trying to be that friendly person and saying, listen, I don't want you going out and spending, you know, two, three hundred dollars on a personal video recorder. Come watch this show on this channel, on this, um, I say channel, <laughs> on this, um, on this website because you didn't get a chance to watch it a week ago. I mean, right. clearly that company has already made their millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. I'm not mm. trying to make millions of dollars. I'm not trying to make anything. I'm just uploading it because I'm being friendly. And, I think and even with the, the cracked up to the uploads, what people that are cracking things are doing, they're actually building a bigger um, customers, building more customers. Because people might download, say they download, say it was like Call of Duty. Somebody might download Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and then somebody hasn't cracked Modern Warfare 2. Well, somebody's either going to be waiting for Modern Warfare 2, or they're going to be like, you know what, Modern Warfare 1, awesome game. I'm going to go buy Modern Warfare 2. I agree. I agree 100%. I mean, let's take the biggest example, and everybody knows of it, Minecraft. Minecraft would have never been as big as it was. If it wasn't if for cracked clients. Well, I mean, not even that. I mean... Even the fact it, 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 it comes right down to advertising, right? I mean, C. Nanners was the first person, essentially. I mean, I don't know if he was the first or not. But let's say he was. I'm assuming that he was. He was the first person to really post Minecraft content. Mm -hmm. It blew up overnight, all because he posted a video of this game. And thousands upon thousands, I'm going to even say hundreds of thousands of people, bought the game. Or they cracked the game. Right. And now look at the game. I mean, but even then, they're still a part of the community. Exactly. And exactly. they're still participating in things like Minecon and everything else that's associated with Minecraft in any sort of way. Yep, I agree with you 100%. There's a lot I of mean, people I that make mods that have cracked Minecraft because they're like, you know, I don't, I don't really feel like buying it, but I can, I can still play as a regular player. Right, right, exactly. And those mods go to some of the retail players, and those mods go to some of the non-retail players. I mean, it's... It, it, it's the society. I mean, it's one of those gray areas. Like, do, do, it, the way that I, if I was a developer, let's say, if I was develop, if I was the guy behind Minecraft, and mm -hmm. I developed Minecraft, one of two things. I mean, I'd be ridiculously filthy rich. <laughs> two, I mean, I would have paid, you know, CNANers or paid the people that are doing the advertising for me because I didn't, I didn't pay anything for it. Exactly. It's 100% free publicity advertising for that game. Now, if SOPA was in existence prior to me making this game, my game wouldn't be as big as it is today. Oh, yeah, All exactly. All because of the fact. The game would probably, it has, a, what, like 5 million downloads right now? 5 million paid customers. It probably won't even have 3, three million. No, I would, I, would, I, would, I would say it would probably be way less than that. I mean, it would probably be in somewhere around the 100 or 200,000 mark. Because, like, some games, like, there's a lot of good games out there that haven't got recognition for how good they really are. Yeah, exactly. And I agree also, with you. if people are like trying to like 
crack in my program or crack something, I'd be like, you know what? It's fine. People are still using it. People still like it. People still like the program or the, the, the game or whatever. Yep. It all, it, all, it all goes to this. There's no bad publicity. There's no, no, not at all. There's none. I mean, all publicity, in my eyes, is good publicity. Whether it's, um, you know, 10 million thumbs down or one thumbs up. You exactly. know what I mean? Either way, there's 10 million people that, that have saw watched my that, content. seen it, exactly. and done something with it. it. Exactly. Whether they like it or they dislike it. I mean, I think that that's the way that um, all of these pirated, and I'm using quotation marks here, pirated companies and pirated uh, websites, I think they should just say, you know what? We don't care. We're getting recognition. People are coming to our site. And I think mm -hmm. the government needs to do the exact same thing. Because let's, let's look at it this way. If the government actually shuts down all of these things, which they're not going to now, but if they did actually shut down all these things, let's take YouTube, for example. YouTube gets over a trillion views a day. If now, they had shut down YouTube, right there, that is almost a complete dead stop to 99% of the campaigning and advertising in the United States and all over the world. I agree. I agree. Like, if you look up Ford, they have a YouTube channel. You look up Victoria's Secret, they have a YouTube channel. You look, you look at Barack Obama. He has a YouTube channel. Yeah, he does. It's true. And all those social media sites that would have got shut down, boom. That's one of their number one sources of campaigning right there. The internet. Oh, Twitter. Facebook. Yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. I mean, I don't think that the government should actually go through it, and they're not going to. But, I mean, if they did, they would have taken money out of their pocket. Because with every view, with every download, with every whatever you want to call it, it turns into a figure and that figure is a number that they can bank on. If they mm -hmm. would have taken away all of that, they would have lost out on hundreds of millions. I would even want to I even want to say trillions of dollars a year based off of them doing that. So I think I think that mega upload to be completely honest, I think they're actually just being greedy or maybe it's not even that. Maybe it's the government that's putting pressure down on them saying, "Listen, we want you to sue these people. We want you to sue these teenagers. We want you to sue these these moms, these these single dads, these single whatever people with no money. We want you to sue them mm -hmm. because we're not making money off of them right now, and we want to make money off of them. And another thing is, even with these large amounts of money that they are charging people, who can pay it? No yeah. one. And what are they no going to do? No one can pay it. What are so, they going to do about it? Are they going to repossess their house? Are they going to repossess their internet? Okay, exactly. Fine. They're just actually creating more and bigger problems. Because now, okay, for instance, say if I were to get caught for some reason, I owe the government $1.5 million. It's going to be all over the news, and then the government's going to look like an idiot because they don't, I don't, obviously, I'm a 15-year-old kid. I don't have the money to pay $1.5 million, <laughs> nor do my parents, and nor does most people. I'm 31 years old. I've got double your age, and I don't have one point five million. Even some of the most higher ranked people in the world probably don't have that much money to just hand out. I mean, well, yeah, exactly. One point five million dollars. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, I, I mean, we've we've kind of brought our our statement to to what we need to let you guys know about. But we really want to know. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that that Malik wants to know this as well. We want to know what you guys' thoughts are. I mean, yeah. our thoughts are basically this, and I'm going to leave it off at this. This will basically be my end statement, my end summary, whatever you want to call it. I think that what the government's doing, or what they attempted to do. It's absolutely ridiculous. They're putting pressure down onto all of these pirated sites, or again, in quotation marks, these pirated sites, tons and tons and tons of pressure to the point where they don't want to get sued, so they're just going to turn around and sue everybody else. I think it's mm -hmm. ridiculous. I think it's preposterous, and I think that um, it definitely shouldn't be done. I think that it's definitely going against... The uh, what is it? I think you guys have something. I think what is it like the First Amendment or something like that? I'm in Canada, so we don't have that bullshit. But I mean, it's it's completely 100% against the First Amendment. I mean, the freedom of speech, the freedom of to basically do whatever the hell you want, as long as you're not putting somebody in danger. Then who gives a shit? That's my point. I want to know what you guys think in the comments section below. This is also going to be on my channel as well. So for those people that are actually watching this on my channel. Go on over to Malik's channel. Give him the thumbs up. Give him the uh, subscribers and all that kind of stuff as well. That's it for me, man. That's all I need to say. All right, guys. And yeah, basically what JP said, you know, leave comments. Let us know what you think about this whole thing and everything. Um, his video will be left as a... Oh, sorry. Shot run in the back. But um, his video will be left as a video response in the description. So go check it out and um, maybe drop a like and maybe search research topic a little bit more yourself. And...
Thank you guys for watching. Sorry, this was a lot longer than what we expected, but um, <laughs> I will see you guys later. I mean, it's a big topic, so yeah. it's obviously it's going to be that. Let me have uh, one last quick thing. Um, both of us, both Malik and I, are actually part of uh, TGN Indie. I know that I didn't want to throw this out there, but I figured I might as well do a shameless plug anyways. Um, there will also be in the description below um, TGN Indie. And if you guys don't know what that's all about, we're not going to talk about it now, maybe in another video. But come on over and check us out over at TGN Indie. We have a lot of cool things that are happening out there as well. So that's it. Yep, I'll I will leave to annotation later. to JP's channel, TGN Indie, and my main channel, of course. But thank you guys for watching. This was Elite Gaming and... JP, a.k.a. Naughty MMOs. All right, guys. See you later.